Hey guys, this is Michal from mdbootstrap.com and in this video I'm going to play a bit with buttons of the newest Bootstrap 5 combined with Material Design 2.0. As always, I will be using the MDB framework which greatly extends Bootstrap capabilities and it's free to download from mdbootstrap.com. Alright, go to mdbootstrap.com, click download and download the MDB UI kit. Unzip it and open it in your favorite code editor. Now open index.html file and remove the existing content. And I am going to launch this with um, a light server, with, which is an extension in Visual Studio Code and it provides a very nice live preview as you can expect. Right, put it here. And in the search box of mdbootstrap.com type buttons. And now you will be redirected to the buttons docs. As you can see, uh, there are uh, multiple examples and they will prob probably cover any case you can have in your projects and the docs are just great. So let's take it step by step and explore the buttons. One tiny disclaimer and in index.html I am going to add text center class and margin, uh, let's say five, uh, but it's um, only my own preferences because I like to have everything centered. You don't have to do it, you can just ignore it. All right, coming back to the buttons. So starting with basic example, let's copy this and paste it here and we have our nice button. All right, so as you can see, uh, we have two classes here. The first one is button. Let's just leave uh, only this. And this class provide us uh, all the basics, basic uh, styles. Uh, for our button, which is um, uh, which is uh, proper padding, um, uh, font size, and many other things like shadows, for example, and um, uh, with this second class button prim primary, it provides us uh, basically a coral color. So uh, now, with uh, when we have a color, we can also see the buttons have this very nice wave effect or uh, ripple which is very uh, typical for material design and i just love this effect look at this very nice very smooth i cannot imagine buttons without it all right so um, uh, the next thing is of course the color Mm, in Bootstrap, we have a basic palette of uh, uh, something like eight colors. So uh, we can, of course, by changing the second class, uh, manipulate the color. But apart from this, uh, we can we can create our own palette. So um, if you type colors in a search box you will see that there's much more options here it's like hundreds of colors but uh, you need to compile it to your own css so it's a completely different different topic and i'm not going to cover it in this tutorial um, so coming back to our buttons i think at the beginning these few colors is just enough to create uh, to create uh, a very nice project. The next option are outline buttons. So by adding outline word between this button and primary uh, class we can make our button outline. So let's add this and we have our button outline and it of course works with every color class we have uh, in Bootstrap to our disposal. So primary or danger, whatever you like. The problem with outline buttons is that right now we cannot see our wave effect. Actually, it is uh, visible, but barely, because it's um, uh, it's white. So 
what we can do is um, uh, we can um, use mdb options related to now uh, the ripple method and let me just type here ripple and here we have the ripple and now here are the colors so we can easily change the color of the wave uh, by adding this attribute so let's say i want to have dark ripple effect and now it works it can also be for example i know danger yes now maybe it fits better so uh, in the ripple docs you can have uh, you have uh, a lot of different options you can really manipulate the ripple effect mm, uh, mm, uh, as you wish but uh, coming back to uh, buttons the next option is a round button. By adding button rounded, we can make our button well rounded. Let's try this. As you can see, because we have we still have this outline class, our button is not only rounded but it's also outline. By removing this, we can have a regular button with rounded corners. So uh, the next option is this what we have uh, a few seconds before. So the rounded and outline buttons at once. Next option is very interesting and it's not available in the regular but in the regular uh, Bootstrap and that is a floating button. So let's copy this instead our regular button. And as you can see, instead of the word inside, we have an icons here. Mm, uh, so, uh, to, as if you type icons in a search box and you go to these dogs, you can see there are like I know hundreds or even thousands of different icons, and you can just use whatever you want. Uh, and let's copy this here. And here are our icon. So, uh, apart from the icon, the buttons work the same as uh, the floating buttons work, work the same as the regular buttons. So, we can change the color, we can make it outline. But uh, what we cannot do, well, we cannot do it uh, more rounded because it's, uh, it's, it's a circle, so um, a button rounded. Um, doesn't change anything mm, all right and the next option even more interesting are the social buttons so uh, in the same icons in the same icons docs uh, you can see we have all the icons related to social media uh, whatever you can uh, whatever you need linkedin linkedin Yes, or Google, Instagram, and by just by replacing the uh, icon, we can create a social icons. And what's more important, by adding an inline uh, CSS, we can provide a brand color, um, brand color, now which suit this specific social. Uh, medium. For example, if we want to have a Facebook icon, we'll use this color, which uh, is a brand color of the Facebook, and the same with the Twitter, Google, whatever uh, social media we want to add. And as you can see, we can um, we can create the floating icon, not the same uh, as in the previous examples we can combine it in many different variations uh, with the text or without any uh, background so it's completely up to you how you want to uh, style it and how you want to use it in your project additionally you can add a notification by using uh, bootstrap badge so it's also very typical use case for uh, social buttons. 
Next thing, tags. Um, as you may know, we can use buttons uh, in a few different ways. We can use it as a null link with an A attribute, but if we do so, we should add a role button to it to provide the proper syntax context, um, or we can use it um, in most common way, which is of course a button, but in this case, we cannot uh, use href attribute, which means we cannot now um, use a link inside it. So depending on what uh, do you want to do with your button, use different class. And we can also use um, uh, the input uh, element and style to looks exactly like a button, but uh, I suppose it's uh, not uh, not very often when you need when you need this. Uh, the next thing uh, is size. We have three different sizes at um, uh, our disposal in, in Bootstrap and it's button SM for small buttons, button LG for large button and for medium or regular buttons we don't need any class. But if we want to make our button uh, even smaller or bigger, we can use a spacing classes, which uh, means um, uh, um, padding classes uh, specifically. And for example, if we add padding, let's say five, you can see now it's even bigger. So uh, if we want to have a really big button, we can add button LG to make our text bigger and uh, if we want um, uh, if we want uh, to use uh, padding uh, differently on an x and y axis you can say let's uh, let's have padding x 3 or 5 all right and padding y 3 or 4 oh sorry and it's definitely bigger than the regular large button. Let's compare it. But this still works the same. The next thing about buttons are states. So we have we have um, basically two uh, states: uh, an active state and disabled state. Let's take care of the first one. So by adding active class, you can see the button became a bit darker, which, uh, which uh, um, say to the user it's uh, uh, pressed and it's currently um, it's currently um, uh, active. So uh, for example, by using a JavaScript, we can manipulate and toggle the state by uh, adding uh, or removing active class, and in this way we can provide a proper context to the user. Uh, if button is uh, clicked or not and with a disable state by using a standard disable attribute we can prevent user from clicking the button uh, and in some cases it's very useful another very useful thing is a block button and that means the button which is stretched the full width so let's copy this example and as you can see we have a quite weird syntax here um, we need to add a specific wrapper to this button to these buttons they are just a regular buttons by but by adding the grid class now we tell the buttons inside to be stretched and with this uh, uh, gap class, we can specify how big should be the gap between the buttons. So if we say gap four, we can say it's bigger and by adding gap one, it's mm, uh, smaller. Now we can also specify on which, mm, uh, on which mm, uh, screen size mm, uh, the button should be stretched or regular. And uh, this is something new in Bootstrap 5 and specifically in the newest Bootstrap 5 uh, beta version. version. Um, 
And Bootstrap team decided to do some uh, quite a controversy move with this because they removed the old button block class, um, um, uh, argumenting that this new syntax is, uh, is uh, more flexible and more powerful. However, I think that if we just want to have um, a single button stretch full width, we should have an option. Uh, uh, we should have an old option to our disposal and in mdb you still can use the old class which is button block and it still works as you can see this is how the button looks without this class and with button block it's stretch full width so in mdb you can use the new option with um, uh, the wrapper now with the grid class and all the other powerful options but you can still have this button block if you need this there are a few more things i want to show you about buttons now, an interesting concept is um, a button used as um, checkboxes or radio buttons now, what exactly do i mean so um, go in mdb docs to the checkbox docs and as you know the checkbox let us choose multiple options and instead of using these small boxes with the checks inside we can use buttons so here we have an example now and as you can see when i click it the active class is launched and uh, it's a bit darker and in some cases it's definitely much uh, better use case than the regular checkboxes let's copy the example and paste it and you can see it works out of the box and the same with the radio buttons in contrast to checkboxes in radio forms we can use only one option and it's the same with the buttons we can use only the one the single option so let's copy the example and see if it works as expected it's fine all right that's all i wanted to show you about buttons in the newest bootstrap 5 and i hope it was useful for you don't forget to subscribe to our channel we publish new useful video uh, every few days. Goodbye and see you in the next video.